love everything vintage. I hunt thrift stores, garage sales, auctions and more for vintage items, furniture to refinish, pieces to repurpose, or just things I see valuing to flip. Occasionally I keep unique items I just can't live without. I'm Original Vintage 71. Follow me on my thrifting and DIY <laughs> adventures. We're having a good time. It's all the matter. <laughs> some errands to run so what a better day than to hit the thrift store I'm also gonna stop for lunch with my husband and daughter who are working in Leduc today so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go before or after lunch sometimes the good stuff comes out after lunch so I might just wait and just go do the errands ahead of time let's head out and I will get back to you as soon as I get to the thrift store well stuck in the yard <laughs> All the noises of a thrifter in the back. Decided to stop at Second Glance in Leduc. I haven't been here in a very long time. I have found some cool things in the past, but let's see what we can find today. Oh, and it's before lunch. So I'm waiting to go to Salvation Army after lunch. Okay, let's head in. Thank you. You're welcome. Looks pretty busy in here. Let's head over here. Have a look at the cups. Ooh, a lot of white cups. Tessa Moderna. These are kind of cool. Official bird of Canada, the mosquito. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. I might have to get that one. <laughs> oh my. Las Vegas. Nancy. And Anne. Uh oh. What's this? Oh my gosh. Is that a tea? Is that a tea? It is a tea for Tracy. Tea for Tracy from England. It's my cup. For a dollar. So I grab a cart. Ooh, I like this color. For life. Oh. What are those for? They don't have handles, are they coffee cups? Or dessert bowls? I don't know. I've sold these before in blue, but I don't think I'm gonna go for clear glass. Clear glass does not sell as well. And I have a lot of stuff in my booth, so I'm trying to be picky. Oh, that's plastic. An original hand painting by R. Bailey, 1983. Oh, that's very pretty, Bailey. Very, very pretty. What else do we have in here? There's a root beer mug. What's this? Big Al. Well, Disney Productions. Oh, that might be something. Hmm. Might have to look that one up. Problem solver. I actually might get the problem solver. Wine glass. I don't need it. Oh, it's a dollar store. Sushi plates. Sunburst Canada. Four sushi sushi plates. And two of those ones. Oh, I've had sushi plates before in my booth, but they didn't sell. They sell online though. How much are these? It doesn't say. I don't know. Oh, Staffordshire. It's kind of a funky green flowered plate. It's kind of fun. What else do we have? 
to look at. Oh my gosh. I had these plates when my kids were little. My mother-in-law gave them to me. I think she might even have got them at the dollar store. And they are so heavy. So very heavy. Malamine camping glasses. Or Malamine. And bowls. Is it for your camper? Go good in a vintage camper. Mm. Oh, that's a cute pepper. Stoke. Sit right. Oh. Hmm. This one dirty bowl. Is it the dirt? So I'm guessing it's chip, chip dip. Uh, bracket and chip dip. This silver overlay. Hmm. I don't typically sell that very fast, so we won't be getting that one. How nice. <laughs> As is. And it's missing its chip dip and bracket too. Oh look, lots and lots of this century modern. That one's Glow Hill, I believe. But yeah, this stuff doesn't do good in my booth. It might do good online, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna turn around and go the other way into stuff. Oh, this reminds me of my childhood. I'm pretty sure my mom had one of these. Maybe if you could get that out. Six dollars as is. It's so funky and cool. A little loose. I could tighten up the screw. Does anyone know? Can you get that dark stuff out of there? Would barkeeper's friends do it? I think I'm gonna think about it. Ooh, look at this electric frying pan. Funky red. Okay, let's check out the furniture to flip for painting. There's some tables there. 30 each. Maybe glue it. I think I'm gonna leave it. Oh, it's not forty dollars. It's four dollars. That's pretty cool, you guys. I kind of like it. I wonder if we can fix it. I'm gonna put the camera down and see if I can fix it. I think I could reinforce the foot. It's pushed in a little bit there. But I think you could reinforce it. You could probably just take the metal right off. I don't know what to do. It's kind of fun. That's worth trying. I think at 30 each, I'm gonna leave them. I have enough. I have enough at home still. There is a lot of bonging going on in this store. I'm not sure why. Oh, Ukrainian stuff does good sometimes. $10. Not enough in it for $10 for me. Ooh, little piggy. It's a cute little piggy. Another penny. Penny bank. Just a pretty little girl. Or lady, I should say. I thought it was glass. It's, it feels like, feels like plastic. And it's hollow. Is that just a decoration? Had a light in it or something? It's kind of a neat old pressed glass um, vinegar decanter. I don't know. Quite a bit of chipping on the stopper. So I think I'm just gonna leave it because I don't know. It's going to say at three dollars. There's not a profit, but that's for three. I'll grab those for my booth. I see a trunk that might make a good coffee table. Ten bucks. Mm, it's kind of flimsy. I'm gonna pass on that one. This cup has a chip, so it's going back on the racks. I like these cups. Or 
these cups here when I walked in. Lauren Japan, fine stoneware. I actually really like these cups and they're a bigger size. And there's two. I'm gonna take these ones from my house. I like them. I'm noticing some scratching and stuff in there that I don't want to take the chance, but it is a cool vintage piece. Just a little too rough for me. Hey, that was a pretty busy place. I was very excited to find the cup with the tea on it. I liked the two Japan cups. Those are pretty cool. The hamper. I think I can pop the foot out and reinforce it. I'll probably use it at my house. I can touch it up and maybe put a little paint in the bottom to make it more durable on the, uh, it's like cardboardy bottom. We'll do something to make it, make it nice. I'm gonna call my family and see if they wanna go for lunch. Just had, <coughs> just had Ido for lunch. I'm gonna head over to Salvation Army. So let's go guys. Mr. and Mrs. What else do we have down here? Sometimes it pays to get right down and have a look. Sometimes the good stuff is hiding in the bottom. Some new price tags they have going on. They used to be like this and now they're putting these on. So if you want just a small coffee. I don't know if I'd ever just want a small coffee. I might have to think about that. Yeah, let's put it in there. Well, I skipped an hour. It's busy over there. What's this? Honey, salt, and peppers. Oh, those are kind of cute. Little mini salt and peppers. Why are there four though? I guess if you're having a big picnic tail and you want to put two on each end. I think I'm going to get the little mini corn on the cobs. My kids had ice cream bowls like that. Kind of like that. Not so clear and shiny, but very similar. Plastic lid. Plastic just in case you tip it over. Yeah, I might have to think about that one. Second thoughts. Take up a lot of room in my booth. 
for what I could get for it. So it's staying. What have we got here today? Coco Lola. That's a imitation vintage jar. Made to look like it's been worn. I can't open it. All right, well, we'll just leave that alone. What about fish? Is that to put like a pot on, like a pot protector? It's kind of cute. Dollar ninety-nine. Yeah, I'll put it in my booth. Oh, ninety-nine cents. A little turquoise pineapple napkin holder. Some corningware. The size of it. Oh, look. There's that bowl that I left behind last time. What is this? No. Oh, oh, oh. Ruby England. Okay. It's kind of worn and stuff. Ruby England. I'm going to look it up. Lots of fancy balls. I have this. Limoges. Oh. Limoges, France. Oh. Limoges usually does well. Not sure about this one. I'm gonna put it in my cart and search up. What's that for? Like, uh, condiments or pickles? A lot of tea. There's tea clusters here. Tea, tea, tea. They're all tea. What is this? Eighteen ninety. Oh, made to look essentials, home essentials, really. Made to look old. Over the place today. I'm at the back, I'm at the front. What is that? Oh, it's a beehive. It's a waterer and. and what? Huh, interesting. I don't know what that's for. This little vintage planter. Hmm, baby. Choo choo train. still here but I don't know if I see the bear with the guy with the knife but look at this little owl isn't it cute and I think it's soapstone this one feels like soapstone 3 
nine. That's adorable. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Oh, careful! Yeah, they're still there. Oh, little rose came up with something. A lid for something? Maybe. What is that? Okay, I don't know what it is, and I don't know what it's for. Mm. Oh, look, another owl. Another soapstone owl, $4. I think I'm gonna try that one too. Look at his eyes. Oh, so cute. Put him in there, gently. And these guys were here last time I was here jump ropes to see oh, this soap dish is that resin it is nobody do people use soap dishes anymore I don't know scratch pretty bad on the bottom oh, a reindeer rocking reindeer well that's kind of cute Really cute for Christmas. Where did you come from? Whoops. Cheapers. Gotta be more careful. $5.99. I think it's cute. It's cute decoration. I get him. Ooh. Ooh, candle holders. 2003, really? Huh. They look very well, vintage. I guess 2003 is kind of vintage now, isn't it? <laughs> $3.99 each? No. I'm not getting it at that price. Cute bears. Tea light holders. Mm -hmm. Be cute at a cabin. Somebody's lake house. And what else do we have here? What's this? Lions on it. What is it? $2.99. I don't know what it is. I think I might photo search that one. Have a look at the back at the linens. Oh my gosh. It's the Flintstones. Really? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Kelowna, BC. It's got a few poles in it, but other than that, it's actually pretty cute. I'd be one of the only people on the beach with a Flintstones towel. How much do they want for it? $3.99. Yeah, I like it. Is there any more? That's quite the hat. I really want to find an old video recorder so that I can play some of my old 8mm videos from the 80s. A Bambi lamp. And it's pretty dinged up. $16.99. She's cute though. I don't usually buy these kind of girls figurines, but I like her, so I might actually pick her up. Pass on the Solian wear. I'm going to go put it back. And I'm going to get them the Lamange and the birds. And this vase could be contemporary. I'm not sure. But I'm going to take it for $3.99 anyways. And I think that's it. Okay, so I spent $43 in the Salvation Army. I bought a bowl, the Ruby England Bowl. I don't know if that's anything special or not. I just thought it was really kind of 
a nice ceramic bowl that would look cool on a coffee table or something. If it wasn't worth much, at least it has a cool look to it. Uh, the Joseph Originals, now you need to tell me, it ended up having one of the little petals chipped off. Still buy something like that if you just thought she was really cute and it had a little chip on it. I'm curious, leave me a comment and let me know. If there's anything else you guys saw that I missed, oh, I could rush back and maybe it might still be there. All right, guys, take care. I'm gonna go get me a coffee on the way home. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Happy I'm home? Are you happy I'm home? Yeah? <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. For more thrifting and DIY at Original Adventure 71, thanks for watching.